wish you could go up the stairs one after the other effortlessly like you used to. But knee arthritis is making it feel virtually impossible to do so. Well, I'm a physical therapist here to bring you some good news. It's not impossible to be able to go up the stairs with ease. Check out all of these people who found the right steps to get there and made it possible. Now I'm here to help you make it possible. I'm going to share two of my favorite exercises to help you get started tackling stairs right now. But wait, if you're a veteran subscriber, you probably already know what's coming. But if you're new, I like to talk about the why, why something becomes difficult before giving you the exercises, because one, it's going to make things make a lot more sense. And two, odds are nobody's told you. And then it clicks and it's like, that's why that's become harder. As you're going up the steps, essentially what the movement requires is being able to lift your body weight with one leg, especially if you're looking to take one step and then the next. There are two reasons why this can become difficult. When you have knee osteoarthritis, you can develop muscular weakness in the thighs and in the hips. Conveniently, those are two main muscle groups you need for stairs. And the problem with stairs is it takes it a step further. You need something that's called muscular power, which takes strength, but adds a speed component to it. Basically, muscular power means to generate strength quickly. Speed and quickly usually aren't two words that come to mind when, especially when you're dealing with knee osteoarthritis, but it can be done. When you start to lose that strength, you start to lose that power, stairs become slower, and you may even find yourself doing one of these where you come up and then immediately bring that next leg. The second reason is you're not confident on one leg. Again, that is one reason why, especially if you're hesitant putting full weight through one leg, that you quickly try to bring the other leg up because you don't want to spend time on that leg. But as you can imagine, if you want to be able to go up one step and then the other, you've got to build that confidence. How do you build the confidence? Through the right movements. So I want to show you two of my favorite movements to help you get started. Exercise number one is working on double leg strength. It's like, wait a minute, stairs require single leg strength. Yes, but if you do not have the foundation and the strength with two legs, moving right into single leg strength, like a step up, more stair specific movements, may actually elicit more pain and they may feel very difficult. Ask yourself, can you stand up without using your hands? Secondly, can you stand up fast? Muscle power, strength, and speed. You have to be able to add speed with two legs before you add speed with one. Standing up without using your arms requires a certain degree of strength. That is number one, working towards standing up without using your arms. Now, if you're able to do that, one thing I'd like you to start thinking about whenever you go to stand up is to stand up fast. And you can sit down regularly, although if you want a double bang for your buck, if you sit down slowly, that can help actually with going down the stairs and you can watch this video after. Think about pushing through your feet, allowing yourself to come up nice and tall using those thighs. As you come up fast, you're also using those hips, both of which are incredibly important for stairs. One little test that I like to use is if you set a timer for 30 seconds, try to complete 10 to 15 standing up and down. That's another way to bring in a speed component. Caveat though, do not add time until you can stand up from a chair without increased pain. One of the best ways to move on to single leg stair climbing exercises is using a smaller step stool. 
from those that had bone on bone arthritis to even mild stages of knee arthritis, the problem I often found was people kept going to a full flight of stairs when you're practicing stair exercises. But if you don't have the adequate strength to do so, it can elicit severe pain, it can elicit some compensations, and you can start to build some bad habits. I really like this mini step. I'm gonna put the link down below. Without the risers, it's four inches. With the risers, it's about six inches. A typical stair is around eight inches. Of course, they will vary depending. So I'm going to show you with just the regular step, no risers. That's where I'd recommend starting. And for the second exercise, we're not just going to do a regular forward step up. What I'd actually like you to try is a lateral step up. This works the hips a bit differently in a direction where you need to build the strength and a direction where there technically tends to be a weakness in a lot of those with knee osteoarthritis. As I push through this leg, I'm meeting the other foot. Come down and come up. Of course, you wanna make sure that this top leg, the leg that's on top of the stair, is planted firmly. It is near the middle and it's not too close to the outside where you're gonna roll off or the step's going to flip on you. Press up and then let that leg come back down. Use support if needed. The goal, about 10 to 20 of these each side without severe pain and with pretty minimal difficulty, meaning shoulders should stay square you're not trying to lean over one way or the other or losing your balance. You support if that's where you need to start. Okay, that's how you get better. Then once you're able to again master that at same amount, 10 to 20 on each side, move up to the higher step, which may even be just a regular stair. Of course, there are plenty of exercises that help with stair climbing. The name of the game is progressing gradually meeting you where you're at. The biggest mistake I see is people try to progress too quickly. This can lead to more pain, this can lead to frustration, and again, lack of confidence. All of those combined can continue to make stair climbing even more difficult. If you'd like to get on the fast track right now and find step-by-step -step follow along workouts that show you exactly what you need to do to build up the strength for climbing stairs and even for getting down to the floor and back up and a lot of other activities that may seem difficult right now. My signature membership, Adventures for Life, is for you. You will get exactly what you need to help you progress and make these activities possible again and even easy, you can do this. You just have to take the right steps. I'll put the link down below where you can learn more and join us. If you like this video, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and share it with anyone who may be struggling going up the stairs. Thanks for watching.